Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be finally doing my Harry Potter room tour. Um, I know you guys have been asking a long time for it. Apologies that it took me so long. Um, but it's finally here, so let's get started. At the moment I'm in our hallway, I'm at the top of our stairs. I don't know if you can see it. And there is a very special reason for that. So um, most of my Harry Potter collection is not in my room, but it's actually outside of it. So let me show you. So when you get up the stairs, this is the first thing you see. It's quite dark. Let me see if I can get that lighter. Okay, so you can see it a bit easier here. Let's see if we can make a close-up of it. So, these are my main Harry Potter items. Oh. So, completely at the top there are my plushies. So you've got a uh, nine and three quarters pillow. There is a Hedwig pillow. And I think behind it, there's still a um, Hogwarts letter pillow as well. Then on the side you can see my gigantic Niffler is at the top as well because it didn't fit anywhere else. And then these are my top shelves. So on the shelf above there you can see are all my mystery minis. So you've got the mystery minis from series one, two and three. Um, some of them are a bit lower as well, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, I've put them like that so you can, um, so they fit with the uh, 3D puzzles that you can see in the back. So I've got the um, night bus here and diagonally. Over here, as you can see, the night bus is standing on the uh, third Harry Potter book, so it's a bit more visible. Then the shelf below, it has my, uh, I call this the um, Pink Ladies shelf. Uh, normally it should be all about Umbridge, but in the end uh, it became a bit of everything. The main color is still pink though. As you can see on the left side there is a um, love potion bottle. Then you can see a lot of mystery minis with uh, behind them some Funko Pops and completely in the back, I don't know if you can see it, there are Luna Spectra Specs. And of course a candle made by Luna Lovegood herself. No, it's not made by Luna. Um, I think it was part of a subscription box. Um, not sure which one. I think it was the Gobstone Alley one, but as we all know how that ended, it didn't end well. So here are two more of my mystery minis. Um, I love the um, Hermione Yule Ball because well, she is just really cute. The dress is very detailed. Crookshanks flocked. Here are some more Funko Pops. You can see a Love Potion bottle there as well. Um, that one was part of the uh, artifact box from Hermione. And here you can see the um, Felix Felicis bottle. So both the, this uh, Felix Felicis and this love potion bottle are part of the noble collection. When we go one shelf further, this is my um, Quidditch slash Triwizard Tournament shelf. So as you can see, the middle is quite... Um, the middle shows a lot of uh, the Quidditch practice. So you've got the um, bludgers um, in the middle. With some Funko Pops. There is the ticket for the final between Ireland and Bulgaria. And there is the um, Quidditch World Cup, World Cup um, 
cards set I think it was or it was some kind of game I can't remember what it was but it just it fit nicely in my um, case so that's why I bought it and all the rest except for some Funko Pops is all dedicated to the uh, Triwizard Tournament and Goblet of Fire so on the left we see the um, golden egg it's a main prop uh, this one is from a Novo collection as well and on so on the far right we see the Tri Wizard Cup with the um, invitation to the Yule Ball. In the front there are a lot of Funko Pops and some mystery minis. And then one shelf below that it's my um, Hogwarts Express shelf. So everything on it is dedicated to the Hogwarts Express. Uh, for example you can see the Funko Pop train in the back. And then some um, candy from the trolley in the front. Of course there are a lot of Funko Pops. I mainly chose to put Harry and his friends um, here. Because they are such an important part of the Hogwarts Express. There are some Lego figures here as well. They are also part of the Hogwarts Express and... Um, King's Cross. On the far left there is Hagrid, of course, he can't be missed. And then in the back you can see a mini Marauders map. Um, I bought them from a local Dutch shop who handmade them. Um, they are, it's really cool. It's uh, absolutely stunning. I can't get it out at the moment because everything would fall then. But it's unbelievable detailed. Then one shelf below. There is my uh, dark arts uh, section and like the words itself say, this is dedicated to Lord Voldemort and the Death Eaters. So um, all the Horcruxes are here. So we see Nagini, Nagini. there is uh, Tom Riddle's Diary, the Hufflepuff Cup, the Locket, oh I think I've got two, yes. You can see the locket from the cave over here. Then there is um, Morvolo's ring. And of course the uh, diadem. There are a lot of Funko Pops and Mystery Minas here as well. Because they just fit with the theme. Very easily set. In the back there is my picture with um, Tom Felton himself. Or... Draco Malfoy. This was taken, I think, a year and a half ago at FACTS, uh, a Belgian convention. So yeah, that was a dream come true, to be honest. Then we come to the lowest shelves. And I'm going to be honest with you, this is a bit of everything. Um, where my uh, shelf above each got its own uh, theme, this one doesn't really have one. It's everything that doesn't have any other plates is put here. So in the back you can see my uh, personalized Hogwarts letter. Then on the far right there is the um, house points uh, counter. The far left you can see uh, Fred and George's wands and behind that it's the um, Dumbledore's army photograph or Order of the Phoenix. I think it's Order of the Phoenix, excuse me. And of course my own uh, photo at platform 9 and 3 quarters taken in London of course. A lot of Funko Pops again, um, I got a lot of them. Oh, this is a time turner, Hermione's time turner. Really cute. And in the middle you can see the sorting hat with um, the Hufflepuff uh, pen in it. Hufflepuff is my house, so that's why. I don't have the other houses yet, but I'm planning on getting them eventually. One shelf lower. There is a lot again. It mostly Funko Pops again. Um, here on the right side you can see the Lego figures from Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. And behind that, I don't know, this is easier to see. Uh, so this is the um, 
this is the um, ice cream cup, um, butterbeer ice cream cup, and over there behind Luna, you can see the um, butterbeer drink cup. And then on the far left side, it's, it's very difficult to see, but if you look through the um, Funko Pops, you can see the Green Gods uh, coins over there. Uh, they are quite far to the back. And then in the middle, it's my uh, very treasured back peak. This is the real mystery mini, the Hot Topic exclusive. And I'm really happy with it. Then the bottom shelf is one of my favorites as well because it's my Lego shelf. Everything here is has got um it's a real lego so in the back there is the quip and then on the in the far right corner you can see the Bricktober set it's a lovely set on the far left corner you can see the micro diagon alley set it looks weird from up here but it's a really cool set and of course in the middle you've got the a bigger set so we've got the great hall over here we've got the uh, expecto patronum set over there aragox lair over here the uh, whomping willow set over here and then behind that there is the um quidditch set so as you can see i'm still missing a couple of sets um, but i don't have any space left so it's going to have to wait. I still got the Hogwarts Express um, set, but as you can see, I don't have any place for it. So I'm going to have to figure something out before I can uh, build that one. So that was my beloved Harry Potter glass case. Now, that's not everything. I still got some um, Harry Potter items in my room, so let's get on with those and see what you think of it. So this is my room, as you can see it's not that big. Um, first and foremost, this is my desk, as you can see my camera is still over there. I'm filming with my uh, iPhone at the moment. So this is my 3D puzzle from Rabbit. Uh, it's amazing, I absolutely love it. It was quite difficult to build, but it's an amazing set. And then above that I got two shelves and they are dedicated to Harry Potter as well. So. Up there, up there you can see the um, burrow. It's a 3D puzzle as well. And then everything else are uh, Funko Pops, but those are the more expensive ones, so they are being kept in their boxes. And let's take a close up look to see which one, ones they are. Here above you can see these are some of the older ones. Um, for example, this is the uh, 2017 summer convention exclusive uh, this Luna one as well um, this is a fall convention exclusive I think from 2017 as well oh this is a 2016 even so I still got some uh, space left for them uh, but I'm still deciding which ones I want to put up there um, which ones I'm, are going in my uh, glass case and then these are the last one uh, these are the newest ones I got so uh, it's got the uh, Harry Potter entering platform nine and three quarters above that it's got the um, Weasley brothers and sisters from a uh, uh, during the final between Bulgaria and Ireland. Three guesses for which team they were uh, supporting. And then we've got these ones. So Morning Myrtle and Nearly Headless Nick. They are 2018 Summer Convention exclusives. And then uh, Professor Quirrell. And Hermione Granger with Sorting Hat are the fall convention exclusives from 2018 as well. So 2019 is this year and we'll be adding... Which... Well, wait. So we'll be adding um, Rita Skeeter to the mix and um, 
Which one was the last one again? Oh, and Fox. So, um, for the 2019 Summer Convention exclusives, we'll be adding Rita Skeeter and Fox to the mix. Still got to find them a place up here, but I'll figure it out eventually. Then I've got some others. So this is um, a fantast uh, one of the Fantastic Beasts Funko. Uh, this is from the uh, Harry Potter Studio Tour, this one as well, I think. Then up here I've got two of my books. So they are um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. The, both of them are, are the, both of them. The uh, difference is the one at, on the the one on top is a paperback version. The other one is a hardcover one. I got them because they were a special edition. Above that, I've got a Hogwarts candle from Primark, and then the small card is a 3D puzzle as well, and um, it is the uh, Fort Anglia from uh, the Chamber of Secrets. Then up here is a bit of my uh, mess. Uh, there are a few items for sale, so the two pillows are for sale and the uh, candles up here. Oh, and the, the light box as well. And the other items, so the advent calendar and the three Funko Pops still need to get a place in my glass case. Then we've got my Harry Potter books over here. As you can see, I'm Dutch, so my Harry Potter books are in Dutch. Uh, I've got an English version as well, but these were the very first ones I got. I've got some uh, bookends um, from Nobo Collection. Uh, they are the Hogs Hogwarts Express. And then, of course, we've got the Baby Niffler uh, from Nobo Collection. And we got Fang from the Harry Potter Studio Tour. Now when you open this uh, small cabinet, you'll see a lot more. So on the top shelf, I've got all my um, Lepin sets. So this is fake Lego, it's not real Lego. Um, it's one of the reasons why it's here and not with uh, the rest in the glass case. Then my bookcase, um, my bookcase is dedicated to Funko Pops as well. It's a bit of a mess at the moment. That's because these ones are all for sale, but they haven't been sold yet, so they're still here. My Fantastic Beast ones, uh, some of them are being kept in the boxes, some of them are not. Um, I'm still doubting if I'm going to sell them or not, uh, because I don't really like Fantastic Fantastic Beasts that much, to be honest. I know that's not a popular opinion, but it is mine, uh, mine either way. On the top there is another Lapin set, so that's fake Lego as well. Oh, and there is the Hogwarts Express, it's a 3D puzzle. I still need to get rid of uh, these, so not get rid as throw them away, but I still need to give them a place. Of course, we've got a Harry Potter calendar over here. This month is June and it's Lord Voldemort. And then let's get on to the last part of this video. And that's my pin collection. I'm very happy with my pin collection. They mean a lot to me. Um, it's a combination of all different kinds of pins. So some are from Primark, others are from escape rooms I did. and. Others are from the um, Harry Potter studios in Leavesden. So I think you can guess which ones are from the studios and which ones are from Primark. Uh, this one at the very top is from um, the Cursed Child musical. Well, the play, it's not a musical, apologies. And this one is from um, the escape room I did. Very happy um, with these uh, pins. I really hope to uh, add a couple of more in the near future, but we'll have to see about that. So, okay guys, that was it for my room tour. Um, That's all the Harry Potter stuff I got. Uh, it's a lot, I still need to, uh, I still need to give some of them a place in my room, but I, can't always find uh, space for them, so uh, it's still a lot. Uh, 
still some things I need to figure out, but we'll get there in the end. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and uh, click the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date about the uh, future videos of mine. So uh, thank you and bye!